Oh. What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. We've got something super fun for you guys today. Oh yeah. We're gonna be trying out something super cool called Snack, snack Crate. Crate. <laughs> Snack crate. We are going to take part in a quiz. We're going to make an order, and eventually we're going to get down to business and eat some food. The perfect snacks. The perfect snacks. So check it out. Here's the video. Boom. So let's go ahead and check out their website. Let's see if there's a right way and a wrong way to do this. And we're going to hopefully try our best to do it the right way. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. All right. So let's check out this website. First thing, these people are love, so excited. They love snack They are crate. so excited. Wow. These people are like, what? who touches a box like that? What the heck? Also, did these, oh, oh yeah. Get started, it, get started. I can't even begin because these people are so excited. When have you ever taken your snacks and moved your hands around like that? <laughs> Those chocolate too. Are they by themselves when they're eating this? I think so, and it's looped now. Let's yeah. try to do our own thing. Okay, great. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at, first of all, looking at the pane here, it says adventure ticket. Okay. That gets me really stoked. I know, but we also see get started, so get well, started. I'm gonna get started. Yeah, get started. Let's get it started. And yeah. Okay, here we go. A world of snacks, surprises. Over two million boxes shipped. That doesn't mean it's good. That just means you convince somebody. Oh, here we are. This is yes. it. This is the this mother is load. This is what we want. Where will snack crate send you? Take the flavor quiz, quiz, quiz. Get started. Let's find the perfect snack crate for you. Answer a few questions about what you like to eat. What get. you like to get. What you like to get started. This should only take a few minutes. I can't read, so there's that. Boom. Ooh, we're snack crate. When's my birthday? It's super invasive. Should I be born in 19... Nah, no, let's just no. go with the... They could send me a bunch of prunes if I go too far back. Who knows what'll happen. That's 203 in dog years? Wow. If you could try food from any of these places, which do you think would be the most delicious? Germany? Hawaii? Korea? Canada. How many can England? you pick? Greece. Click Korea, because we like, we like Asian That's exactly first. what I thought would happen. Did you know almost half of all South Korean... Oh, I couldn't even read it! This is a great question, but you and I separate somewhat here. Because you like salty and savory. Yeah, and I, like, I think I we should... I love sweet. We should... You want to mix it yeah, up? Yeah, mix it up, because we need both. Let's mix it up. So I mix a lot. What do you want to do? You want to go... You want to go minis, original, uh, size? We are a family. We are a family. But... You want to go OG? Yeah, yeah, let's go OG. Let's go OG, man. Dude, and we get one adventure ticket entry. Whatever that beep, means. Beep, beep. Aligning cultural preferences. That sounds so weird. We're going to Hawaii. Going to Hawaii, Wait yay. A minute. How do you go Canada, Germany, Korea? Well, You're going to Hawaii. I mean, Hawaii is a little Asian. Thirsty for adventure. I had a, I had a drink for $5.99. Nope. I like how they put nope, like it was somehow rude. Expected delivery date. Is 7.15? It's a month away. <laughs> okay, well, this'll be delicious. See you then. Yeah. All right, so a month has passed. Finally. So now we've got our snack crate. Crate of snacks. Woo! So let's check out what's going on in this thing. So we'll peel her wide open. Whoa. Hawaii. Okay, so first thing, you guys got to see this. This is actually really cool. This whole situation, they've got to get up when you first actually open it up. Boom. That this works. month's crate is from Hawaii. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, and then it has like the listing of everything we have. Oh, so we get a little 411 yeah, on what yeah, we got. Yeah. Okay, well, well, we'll reference that as we move Definitely. through the crate of snack. It is kind of cool from a branding perspective. They they this have- very, very nice. Yeah, like, very good nice packaging good packaging very branded they even have a nice little you know snack, snack crate, crate sticker snack crate sticker all right here we go here we go i ripped the paper i ripped the paper Ooh, look at this man look at this man she jalapeno. said hula peño and it says jalapeno fired down there i was just like is this oh. woman did she just have a stroke <laughs> and then we also have maui onion munion caramel corn hawaiian style Ooh, look at that Hawaiian style caramel corn. Uh, Hawaiian cookies, otherwise known as candy bead. <laughs> There's a bunch of plum candies in here, which I gotta tell plum you, that candy. gets me going. And we'll read the description that they gave us for each one. Uh, we got little pineapple candies. This little cake thing. Rainbow belts. It kind of look like airheads ripped these jokers off. Hi-chew acai. We got these, uh, these pretz. 
I guess it's Kona flavored coffee sticks. Okay, so let's start with the Diamond Bakery candy bead. Candy bead. Dotted with colorful sprinkler sprinklers. Sprinklers. And flavored with a hint of lemon, these cookies are a Hawaiian favorite. Ooh, let's go. Let's get favored. Oh, it's like a cookie. It is like a little cookie. Okay. Little cookie. Little cookie. All right, I'm ready to give it a go. Let's do it. I don't taste the hint of lemon. It just tastes like a little sugar cookie. Tastes, yeah, a little sugar cookie. If, if little, little sugar cookie. Little sugar cookie and a vanilla wafer have a child. With sprinkles. With sprinkles. We'll call it sprinkles. Let's try these rainbow belts. Whoever made these originally, somebody's got to sue somebody. Delicious, brightly colored gummy strips dusted with a Lee Hang Mui, which gives it the perfect sweet, salty blend. Salty blend? Yeah. All right. Sweet salty, and salty. Salty blend. I take it all back. Airheads, you have your day in the sun. I mean, it's a little salty. You remember that one time I had coffee in my uh, coffee cup and we just recently got married and I didn't know which one was the sugar and which one was the salt. And so I accidentally dumped a bunch of salt into my coffee. <laughs> you think that's what this tastes like? Yeah, it's like it was a mistake. That's it's not bad. It's not bad. But it ain't good. I can see how different places would have a palate for that. I'm just a sugar loving American. Okay, next is the Payaka Pineapple Shortbread. Go ahead. This authentically Hawaiian treat is made of all native ingredients, including sweet shortbread with a real pineapple filling. Ooh. That was not bad. I, I like it. I would eat that with, with a cup of coffee mm -hmm. for sure. I think I like that one the most so far. All right, next we have the Maui style onion chips. Crunchy chips infused with a savory onion flavor and dusted with salt. Each bite will make you feel that fresh Maui spirit. That last sentence. I have sentence. had Maui onion potato chips before. That last sentence was totally not needed. So far, it smells like if you took Lay's regular chips and Lay's sour cream and onion and had them both together, but then went more towards the regular Lay's. I like that they're kettle. They're like crunchy, crunchy. She liked the kettle. Hot dang bangarang. Oh my god. Guys, look. If you are a fan of Funyuns, which mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a pretty big Funyun brother. Yeah. If you took that and made it into a chip, spot on. That's really interesting. These are really good. Spot on. Okay. That was good. That was good. I'll take everything back. That's my favorite one over there. Yeah, yeah. Next we have the Haichu Acai. These juicy fruit chews feature a unique acai berry flavor and real chia seeds, taking deliciousness to the next level. Wow, they smell great. This smells, this is probably my, like, Ooh. as far as high chews go, this is probably the best smelling high chew yeah. I've ever had. That is so good. That is good. I like it. If somebody gave me a bag of these Maui style onion chips <laughs> and the high chews, I'd be set. Game, set, match. What? <laughs> All right, next we have the Hawaiian jalapeno chips. Jalapeno. Get a little island spice in your life with these jalapeno flavored crunchy potato chips. This is a good box. This is a good selection. It actually is a great box. Like, I was expecting, like, not very like, many good items. Like, these are pretty good. These are fun. Quite good. Whoa. The spice on those is really good. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's very, it's probably the most true to jalapeno flavor chip I've ever had. Like It's, it's a good medium heat with the flavor. It's not just hot, you know. Yeah, exactly. Like, I feel like jalapeno chips often jump the jalapeno, like, the, yeah. like, you know, like if you go to a sandwich shop and get jalapenos on your sandwich, this is the flavor that yeah. you get out of that. I like Whereas it. most jalapeno chips just taste like, like a, like a figment of an imagination <laughs> of what Sure, sure, sure. Are. So these, these are pretty good. Next, we've got pineapple gummies. These fun-sized gummy pineapples are packed with a sweet pineapple flavor. Well, that's to the point. How do you open it? Pray about it? Oh, she got the nails. <laughs> yeah. It's just a pineapple gummy. Yeah. I mean, that was a, a throwaway. Island Princess Tropical Popcorn. Sweet and crunchy caramel corn mixed with pieces of dried pineapple and coconut. They would have sold me on it so well if they called it Tropapop. Tropapop. I'm just looking at this one because this says caramel crunch and the box of this thing says Island Princess Tropical Popcorn. So, Snack Crane, if you're out there watching this, which I know you are. We got the wrong one. We got the wrong one, but it might be it might be a thing where they put the... Um, the I mean, this doesn't look like it has pineapple and coconut they, on it. No, they might have put the, uh, the document into print. 
yeah. Before they could guarantee export sure, with the sure. Rona. Benefit of the doubt, you know what I mean? Tastes like caramel corn. Yeah, I gotta tell you, guys. Not tropical. Not tropical at all. Next is Pret's Kona Coffee. This crunchy and sweet treat features the bold Hawaiian flavors of rich Kona coffee. Rich Kona. Rich Kona? Nope. <laughs> oh, they kind of look like Pocky, but not chocolate covered. Tastes like nothing. Like a LaCroix. We, we, we were talking... Yeah. <laughs> this is a, like, food version of LaCroix for coffee. It's They're good, though. What do we got left, Hannah? Hawaiian style luau barbecue chips. Oh, perfect. Back to the chips. I'm a chip man. <laughs> I'm a pretty big supporter of barbecue chips, but these do not smell quite like what I would get down with. These had the most smoky flavor. Yeah. They are the smokiest barbecue chip I've probably had. They're good, but they're just weird. Okay, so you know liquid smoke? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, if you put too much liquid smoke when you try and use it, yeah. it does not taste good. I feel it. This feel is kind of like that. All right, here's this piece of hard candy. Sweet hard candies covered, flavored with plums, uh, with a real pit of a plum in the center. Why would I want that? Also, this, I know my friends, is what the guy excavated at the very beginning, the very first Jurassic Park movie. You are eating history. Is the pit salty for mm -hmm. you? It's kind of weird. It's not a very flavorful candy part. Like a flavorless Jolly Rancher with that salty pit. Salty pit. That's really weird. Do I bite it? Oh! Okay. Yeah, this is a plum pit idea, guys. No, no bueno. Don't do that. Stop it. I also don't like plum candy anyways. Plums are, I mean, I, I get down with a plum. No, but they're like the Japanese plums of that. Hey, this was a really great box, though. It was. All in all, mm -hmm. you know, I say snack crate, guys. Look, go to their site, take the quiz, do the thing. It's worth the wait. I it think. is. I yeah, think. definitely. I think it was very fun. I want to try it again with another country. I kind of do, too. So we might, if you guys like this, we might actually do this again. If you enjoyed this snack crate review, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section below. Also, Hannah, what do we do on Tuesdays? Tuesdays, I play on the stream with him. At 7.30 p.m., Eastern Standard Time. And what do we do also in the middle of that stream? Tasty Tuesday. We usually try a fun snack that we've never tried before. Yep, very true. And often it's foreign. Often mm -hmm. it's from another country, which means foreign. And it's a good time. We do it. So we would like to invite you out to that. If you did like this video as a whole, feel free to like, subscribe, click the bell for notifications, and we'll see you on the next one.